I grew up believing the sky spoke to me. The booming voice of thunder, the sharp retort of lightning, every storm a conversation, a volatile exchange. But today, there's a rainbow. Skittle-colored stripes airbrushed overhead and a rain-washed sky. You remember what the rainbow means? Mimi, my great-grandmother asks. Like so many things she has taught me, the answer is ingrained, woven into my fibers. I don't even have to think about it. A rainbow is the bridge between heaven and earth, I reply, my voice coming strong even though my insides quake. Hmm, somebody's trying to get into heaven. She considers the sky, eyes wise beyond her eighty-some-odd years. Not today. We stand shadowed by one of New Orleans' famous oaks in the cemetery, watching the few assembled mourners disperse. There are no tears for the dead. There weren't many who loved Ron Clements. He was a man only a mother could love. His mother and mine. My pulse stutters at the sight of Mama. I last saw her when I was twelve, four years ago. She is today as she was then, standing by Ron. But this time he lies in an open grave. I snap my lips tight against the words screaming in my head, determined not to speak. Mama. Even though I don't say her name, she looks up as if I have. Her eyes widen through the short black veil that looks like something fashionable women wore years ago when burying their lovers. Vintage, Mama used to say, instead of thrift store. Classic, not secondhand. She always wanted the finer things and clung to any man who promised them, except Ron never promised her much, and Mama still clung like it was a habit she didn't know how to break. The fine arches of her brow snap together, and her gaze ricochets between me and Mimi, then darts to the open grave. There are few cemeteries in New Orleans where they bury folks underground. This is one of them, for the poor and unloved, unclaimed. That's what this is. That's what Ron is.